Back on the Headbangers Ball, I'm Ricky Rackman, and right now joining us from the Lynch Mob, we've got George Lynch. How you doing? How you doing? Now, where, now, where are you coming from? You live in Arizona, right? Yeah. One yeah, of my the whole favorite band lives states. in Arizona. Are you and, just coming from there now, or? Uh, actually, I came from Sausalito. I'm working on a project there. Anything you want to talk about, or? Well, uh, it's a solo thing that uh, we're probably going to release sometime next year. Right on. Now, a little bit about the Lynch Mob. I know you've always, you've gone through like some changes. I mean, because you used to play with Dokken, then you broke free from Dokken to do the Lynch Mob. And now to make another change, you've made some changes in your new Lynch Mob lineup. Right. Um, well, when we came out with the first Lynch Mob record, it was a real departure from the Dokken thing, the formula that Dokken had established in the 80s. And uh, a lot of people were disappointed with it. Um, uh, and, and actually, I was in some with respects. With the Lynch Mob record? Yeah, in some yeah. respects, uh, I was also. Um, but I think we really had to make a, a, a very clean, distinct departure from what we've been doing in Dokken. And, and, we, and we did that, we accomplished that. And I think uh, this new album is uh, as different from our last record as our last record was from Dokken. Mm -hmm. I think we reverted in some sense back to the uh, original formula of commercial but with a, a very hard edge so what is your kind of formula i mean what where do you think the music i mean obviously especially in the song tangled tangled in the web it's got to me like i've said on the ball before it's got a real 70s kind of almost janice joplin -y feel mm. you know well, it's definitely an r and b and, it, you know like you said yeah it has real horns in it it's definitely very r and b uh, but uh there's no indicate uh it doesn't really relate to the rest of the record mm -hmm. i mean there's things on the rest of the record that uh, you wouldn't even think it's. I want to talk band. about the rest of the record, and also we're going to play the video from the Lynch Mob "Tangled in a Web" when the uh, ball continues. So please stick around, won't you? Here with George Lynch from the Lynch Mob, and might also point out that George Lynch was a member of Janie Lane's softball team, the team that <laughs> my team beat last Sunday. You should tell him the story about huh? that, too. The story as we won. Yeah. There's well, nothing well, else well, to no talk minute. about. Last inning, two outs, two men on, we're behind one. We decided to make the Who game a seven-inning game. Two strikes, and I flew out, because you kept heckling me. As I should. <laughs> Wouldn't leave me alone. Let's talk a little bit about the record rather than talk about my team beating his. Um, you got a new singer in the band. How did yeah. you get this new guy? He's got a great Robert voice. Robert Mason. Great he, voice. He tracked us down. He says, listen, man, I got to be the singer in your band. Uh, he knew he was right for the group. Flew himself out. Um, Where's he from? He's from from New York. And uh, so now we got two East Coasters and two West Coasters mm -hmm. in the band, which makes a nice balance. But uh, he's very much the opposite of our last singer. He's uh, very dedicated, uh, has a lot of confidence in, the, in his abilities, and uh, can de definitely take control of an audience. One thing I want to mention, because I'm here playing in the background right now, you did Tie Your Mother Down, which yeah. is a classic Queen song. Did you kind of do that after the fact that well, that the was definitely done passing away? Or? That was definitely done posthumously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and, and I'm a little embarrassed about having the song out at this point, because it's... Uh, it's almost like we're capitalizing on the But everybody band. listened to Queen, I mean. Yeah, but everybody. I don't want anybody to think that, wow, Freddie died, let's do that song. Right. It'll be you did it because you did Queen. Yeah, and, and actually it wasn't my favorite song to do. It was a, We picked it by consensus along with our uh, producer, Keith Olson, who thought it was very commercially viable, had hook value. I, I, I'm more into the more obscure Queen stuff. I wanted to do Tenement Funster or, mm -hmm. or I'm in Love With My Car, the songs that uh, Taylor right. sang. But... Uh, then what's the point of doing a cover, you know, right. if it's, a, if it's uh, so obscure, so. <clears throat> okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the album. I want to talk a little bit about the live show. But right now, we're going to be playing the video from you guys, which is the latest from the Lynch Mob. And why don't you go ahead and intro it. All right, it's Tangled in the Web. That was Tangled in the Web from the Lynch Mob, and we're here with George Lynch. And one thing that I want to mention, the first time I heard the song, something that really stood out was that it's got real horns. Because mm -hmm. I hate sometimes you hear songs from a band that they put these little horns in and you can kind of tell that it's yeah. like synthesized on computer or whatever. And I mean, those that's some, mm, I like the horns in We there. originally had synth horns on there just to see if it worked. And, you know, I, I mean, I don't know the difference. Uh -huh. I'm not, and this was our producer's thing, Keith Olson. He, he insisted on bringing in real horns. He says, now, you, when you hear real horns, you know, th there's life to it. Oh, you, you, you can know? tell. And uh, so I went in the studio and watched him do that. And I've never been in the studio and watched him do horn arrangements before. It was pretty hair-raising, because these guys were so cool and so capable. Now, who they just wanted to blow over the whole track, uh -huh. you know. 
we give them these three little three note parts to do. And now, who wrote that song? Notes. Well, that song was written like most of our songs. I come up with all the music, and then we all sit down and collaborate on the lyrics. So it's pretty wild melodies. to hear the song that you wrote just being added, made this much huger with real horns and stuff like that. It took a, a way different direction than the way I envisioned it. When, when I had written the song, it was a lot slower, more like a big Van Halen majestic groove thing, uh -huh. no horns or anything like that. And uh, we brought Glenn Hughes in to help with some of the vocals, uh, the melodies, and so it, that got a little more R&B, and it kept getting a, a, a little bit uh, more commercial. Uh, with Keith's touch to it, and uh, I like it, but it's totally different than what I envisioned. It. Mm -hmm. So uh, now you mentioned before that the album, I mean, other than having "Tie Your Mother Down" and "Tangled in a Web," it's got a lot of different kind of mm -hmm. directions into it, like some real heavy stuff and some lighter stuff. And well, you know, real heavy is. It's a subjective term. I mean, right. everybody, heavy uses, for me. everybody uses that <laughs> word out. It's heavy. I mean, when I was in a, when I was 17, 18, and in bands with uh, you know friends of mine, we thought we were heavy metal, and that wasn't heavy metal right. by today's standards. But it was probably more progressive. You know, the songs were 17 minutes long. You never go back to the same change or chord progression. It's kind of an exercise in memory, you know. But um, yeah, there is stuff that's that's different. You know, we. You know, in retrospect, when people look back at our records, I want them to show some kind of a growth, and uh, that's what we intended to do. Tell us about the next about record won't be like this record. Mm -hmm. Tell us about tour plans right now. Uh, well, it looks like we're going out with Kiss in August, which we're very excited about. Mm -hmm. you know, they're not a band you can really compete with. You know, they're just Kiss is a Kiss. They're an institution, you know, right? So, like Aerosmith, but. Uh, it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to be going out with them. Yeah, so looking forward to getting out on the road. Oh, yeah. I know all you Lynch Mob fans will be looking forward to seeing George and the rest of the guys. And uh, thanks a lot for stopping by. Okay. And good luck with everything. All right, thank you. right now we're going to be playing a video from Galactic Cowboys. This is I'm Not Amused.